Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair. In today's video, guys, we'll show you how to test any coolant temperature sensor on any car. Procedure super easy, stay with us, we'll show you what you need to follow and how to know if it's good or if it's not good. So, let me go ahead and start here, okay, bye. Uh, okay, let me just put the graph here, stay with us, I'll, show, I'll share a very important graph with you towards the end of the video. These guys, temperature sensor, uh, Okay, it's out of a hand day, but the procedure will be the same for any car, mostly any car. And you can see it has three connectors. Some have two, some have three, but usually you're going to use only the outside two. Okay, the ones that you get on the ohm meter on, and you're going to get some reading. Okay, like that. I'm going to go ahead, okay, and set it, okay, at 20k ohm. Because we'll go in the high numbers for it, okay. Now we will have four different waters to test the temperature sensor and see how it changes. The first water, ice cold water, you can see the ice cubes. Temperature is one degree Celsius. Okay, if you need to convert that in Fahrenheit, you can do that, but most of, most of the procedures are done in Celsius on cars. Okay, so at one degree, guys, okay, which is close to zero degrees Celsius, which is negative 32 Fahrenheit, I think close to that okay you will need to be somewhere around 5 and 6500 rpms i mean 32 fahrenheit not negative my bad 32 fahrenheit is zero degrees celsius so in that ice cold water we need to get a reading between uh, almost 5 and 65 you need to stir it up because the sensor will warm the water around it so you need to make sure that it's good and you can see ours is going to slow down here so it's in specs okay definitely about 5.2 5.3 so that's that's pretty good so far now the next water will be a little bit warmer 35 degrees celsius so that thing at 35 Okay, it should show between, uh, okay, let me check the graph quick, between 1250 and 1750. And I will switch it one position down so we can get the small numbers more accurate. Okay, once it drops less than 2k, you see, okay, right here. So it should be, okay, somewhere there between 1250 and 1750. And you can see ours is about probably about 1500 1450 1500 so definitely checks out good at this temperature as well now the next water will be warmer again this one is about 40 degrees celsius 40 degrees a little bit warmer so for 40 degrees we should drop to 1000 to 1500 And you can see about 1000 right there. A little bit less. Okay, let me make sure that the water is not a little bit warmer than I thought. Okay, it's actually 45, 46 when I get it the correct. You can see. So, in that case, okay, it will be between 750 and 1250. Okay, and ours is about 850 so, so now the next water guys will be super hot water and you know your thermostat usually opens at about 90 90 degrees celsius close to that plus minus five so and that's when you need to really test the temperature sensor and we're going to do that here now okay this is the water okay let's see how hot it is So ours is about 75. Okay, and at 75 degrees, that thing should be showing about 400. 4 to 500. Okay, and for every temperature, we're going to share the graph with you. Okay, so you can see ours, ours is in specs now. So this is, guys, the graph. Okay, that you need to follow. You can see... At zero degrees, it needs to be about 500 
a 5000 to 65 you can see it 50 degrees here okay it needs to be 75 to 95 at 70 degrees it should be 4 to 500 and you can see at 90 degrees it should be 225 to 3 almost to 300 and you know your sensor good so thank you guys for watching hopefully the video will be helpful and see you guys next time